What's up guys, it's Ormrucker, and what I've got for you today is a unlock guide for FTL, the game known as Faster Than Light. I've received a lot of requests to make this video because I've shown other ships in my other videos of FTL, and I figured I'd take some of the footage I have of the unlocks and share it with all you guys. I do have one favor to ask though guys, please do consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps me a lot and it will allow me to create more guides like this down the road and cover other games down the road. So uh, with that said, with this image that you're looking at here, you can click on any ship and it will take you to the portion of this video that shows how to unlock it. Otherwise you can let it run through and you'll see all of them sequentially one after another. You've only got about 10 seconds though left to click. So if you want to pick a ship, do it quickly. Otherwise it's going to jump right into the stealth ship first. To unlock the stealth ship, you have to have a NG crew member, doesn't matter what ship you're on, and then you also need to be in the NG homeworld sector. The ship itself is a stealth ship, so if you have been wanting to play around with stealth, this is very likely a ship that you'll want to get early on. The sector that you're looking for is randomly placed, and you'll know that you get there if you see this message and have the ability to have your NG crew member contact the crew of the other ship. You can offer your help to them and then they tell you the situation that the Mantis have taken one of their ships. It's a secret technology that's been stolen. So after listening to them, they give you coordinates. There's actually going to be two and you have to go out to those quest markers and try to locate the ship for yourself. Now, one thing that I'm not clear on is if you have to go to both quest markers or if there's a chance you can get the ship coordinates from the first. But really what you're doing is you're hunting down two different ships that have information on this stolen technology. In my case, the first ship uh, ended up getting away from me. Even though I did my best to take it out, it ended up jumping away and I wasn't able to get any information from it. But I did still have that second quest marker. When I arrived at the second quest marker, I was finally able to take out the ship. At which point, right before they were about to die, they reached out to me and pleaded for their lives. After that, they gave me a final quest marker, which is the very last step in this whole unlock. This is where this quest line gets very difficult, though. My suggestion, personally, would be to let that second ship go, because you're going to want to save your strength for the big battle to come. And you'll know that you get there once you hit the quest marker and you encounter a Mantis bomber. This is the ship that's protecting the NG Cell ship and it really does put up a fight. It's very well armed, it's got good shields, it's got a high dodge chance, and it's really going to take a lot of effort to take this thing out. Once destroyed though, then you do get the cell ship unlock, and you also get some other rewards as well. To recap everything though, you do need to have a NG crew member on any ship in the game, you need to be in the NG homeworlds, and then you need to find the appropriate sector that leads to the first two quest markers. After you extract information from the ships that are at the quest markers, then you will get the coordinates for this Mantis Bomber, and after defeating it, you get the cell ship. It'll be unlocked in your hangar and you can use it anytime you want. Alright, let's talk about the Mantis Cruiser next. This one is really difficult to get. You have to have a Mantis crew member on your ship. And you also have to have a specific ship configuration. By the time you get to the Mantis homeworld, you need to have a teleporter that's upgraded to at least level 2. You need to have a med bay that's also upgraded to level 2. And you also need to find the sector. You'll know that you get there when you have the option for your Mantis crew member to hail the other ship. And it's the Thief Kazak... Uh, I don't even know. Like It's some weird ass name. <laughs> and really, this is what the whole battle is about, is this one specific character on the ship. Now, what I need to tell you right now is do not destroy the ship. Whatever you do, do not destroy it. Take out the initial invader. After that, you're going to want to transport crew over to his ship and take out his crew. After you destroy the crew on the other ship, then you're going to get the prompt to begin initializing the other parts of the quest, which is reliant, again, on that teleporter and also on a med bay. If you do not have your med bay upgraded or you don't have that level 2 teleporter, you're not going to be able to get this ship. So make sure that if you're hunting for this thing, you are prepared. Otherwise, you're going to waste your time. So after killing all the crew, you can then use that teleporter to search for survivors. After that, you find the thief 
and you can use your advanced med bay to bring him back to life. After he's been brought on board, your Mantis crew member will invite him, assuming the Mantis crew member is still alive, he will invite him to join your ship, and this is what gets you the Mantis cruiser. So again, you've got to have that Mantis crew member, you have to have the med bay level 2, teleporter level 2, and then you got to find the sector and do all the right prompts. And that's it for the Mantis cruiser. The Slug Cruiser is a bit of an interesting unlock because it requires you to first off find a Slug ship that's going to try to surrender to you and usually they offer you a weapon. Now if you have a Slug on board or have sensors upgraded to level 2, there's a chance that they may offer you information. And if they give you information, they'll tell you about a sector where there's something interesting going on. They don't tell you exactly what, but it gives you a quest marker when you get there. You can try to spy on the ship, and what you want to do is follow them, and then using either your slug or your improved sensors, you can try to lock on their ships and follow them through this nebula. After doing so, then you will be brought to a special fight against a interceptor type ship. And you come to find out that the ship is linked up with this other cruiser, and they're trying to jump away at the same time. So really, this is more of a race to disable the ship and not let it jump away. If the Interceptor does manage to jump away, then you're going to completely miss out on the opportunity to get the unlock. So my suggestion really is to make sure you keep their engines down and focus on that entirely if you can. Especially if you have missiles to get past their shields, that's going to be a huge help. But really, you need to keep their engine completely down, otherwise you're going to miss out on this thing entirely. After you defeat the ship though, you will get the unlock. It's really as simple as that, just as one ship encounter. But again, the core elements here are that you either have a slug on board or you have sensors upgraded to level 2 or above and then you have to find a ship that's willing to give you information right before it dies. After that you can get to the quest marker, follow the interceptor through the nebula and then if you can stop it from jumping away and eventually destroy it, you'll get the slug cruiser as an unlock along with some other goodies. You'll get some scrap and usually an augment out of it as well. The Rock Cruiser is one of the easier unlocks to get in FTL. And the main reason for that is you do not need a specific crew, you don't need to kill anything specifically, and you also don't need any sort of upgrades. All you need to do is be in the Rock Homeworld and come across the event. And you'll know you're there when you see this message here, where you can respond in a number of ways. Well, actually just two ways. Otherwise you can ignore them. But uh, what you want to do in this one is tell them that we're going to die trying. That is the prompt you need. And what they tell you is that they're going to give you coordinates and to meet them there, and then next thing you know, they jump away. Now, what I can advise you of is first off, when you get to the sector, you do not need this, but my suggestion is to make sure you have at least one upgrade in your doors because what the rock ship wants you to do is actually survive not only attacks from them, but also solar flares. And if you have an upgrade in your blast doors, then that will help you keep the fires from spreading. And really all you have to do then is just outlast them. They're going to initially cloak, and then they'll start firing on you. You're going to have solar flares coming in. And as long as you can live until they jump away, you'll have beaten the test, at which point they'll tell you to meet them at one other sector, which will create a quest marker for you. You don't have to go find it yourself. After arriving at the sector, this is where they'll tell you that you passed the test officially and that they want to help you. As mentioned, this is one of the easier ones to get. You don't need to have an upgraded crew or have specific systems. You just need to be in the rock homeworld and find it. One other thing worth mentioning is that if you do find this encounter even after you've unlocked the ship, it is the only way to get rock plating applied on any ship besides the rock ship, which of course comes with its stock. So if you want to have rock plating on a Federation ship before you go into the boss fight, try to look for this sector if you're ever in the rock homeworlds before you're at the actual boss. The Zoltan Cruiser is unlocked through diplomacy. And that's entirely what it's about. It's not about surviving any sort of solar flare event or killing anybody. All you have to do is just think with your head when it comes to trying to negotiate some level of peace. You'll know that you're at the right sector when you come across an unarmed Zoltan transport vessel 
and you have the option to attack them, hear them out, or leave. What you want to do is hear them out so that they can tell you about their message of peace and harmony. And again, this is what it's all about. It's all diplomacy. So keep that in mind as you move forward in this quest. Because what they're asking to do is spread the word of enlightenment to those who have not heard. Once you have done that, then contact their brethren. Well, they send you to a quest marker, and when you get there, you find a rebel. Well, here's the deal. All of this is a trick. The rebel fighter, everything. So what you want to do is first off hail them, and then select the options that are the most peaceful, the most diplomatic. And the very first, you want to select the first option. This is where, instead of trying to accuse them of anything or demanding their surrender, you're trying to propose that perhaps there can be reconciliation. After that, they will argue that they don't think it's possible, at which point you want to say true progress can only be achieved without bloodshed, versus telling them to go off and get lost and go find somewhere else to live. No, you want to tell them that true progress can be achieved without bloodshed. Again, this is a more peaceful route. And upon doing this, you'll have passed the test and you'll be able to unlock the cruiser and the following dialogue options that come afterwards. And you will see the rebel ship fade away. This is when they reveal themselves, and this is when the unlock actually happens. The reward here is typically just scrap and some other miscellaneous reward like a weapon. But uh, yeah, I mean, this one's another simple one. You don't need any sort of upgrades or any specific crew. You just need to find the location and pass the test. Simple as that. Okay, so the unidentified cruiser is actually the crystal cruiser. And it's an unknown unlock because it involves a new alien type that you're not going to usually find throughout the game unless you can find the triggering event. You'll usually find the trigger event in NG sectors. Those are usually the ones to look for, but I've also found it in a pirate sector as well. And you'll know that you're there when you find a ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field. That's the message, and what you want to do is search for the ship. After doing so, it'll tell you that you found one that's, that's coated with ice or crystal and you send some crew to explore. After you explore, you'll get a prompt, but don't get fooled by it. You do not want to take the weapon or any spear scrap. You want to go for the stasis chamber. So select that second option and after doing so, you'll either get it or you won't. If you get it, then it enters your augment section of your ship and sits there. It's actually a damaged stasis pod. And this is literally the first part in a chain of events that needs to happen in order for you to unlock the unknown ship. The next part I've heard people say that it, it's only found in Zoltan sectors, but I've also found it in an NG sector as you see here. What you're looking for is a Zoltan research facility where they ask you to participate in the study. If you have the damaged stasis pod, you can ask them if they can fix it. So of course you want to select that prompt at which point they're going to go and try to bring this alien back to life. And if they're successful, it appears on your ship. And then once he joins your crew, he tells you that his people isolated themselves long ago, but perhaps it's time to reestablish a connection. So you learn that the wormhole leading to his people is actually in the rock homeworlds. As a result, the next and final part of this quest is entirely reliant on being able to find a rock homeworld sector. And this is where all I can do is talk about the final part of the quest because I have not been able to find the wormhole myself even though I have gotten up to the second stage three times now. Every time I try to find the wormhole, I either don't find a rock homeworld sector or I find one and I just can't find the wormhole within it. But here's what you need to do. You need to find a transmitter in the rock homeworld sector. And upon finding it, it will give you your very last quest beacon. And all you got to do is bring the crystal crew member to that beacon alive. And if you do that, he will unlock the crystal ship for you and you'll have that unlock. This one is definitely by far the most difficult to get. It really comes down to luck because you need to get that first encounter. Then later in another sector, you need to get the second encounter. And then finally, you need to find a rock homeworld to wrap everything up and keep that crew member alive, keep your ship alive and be able to get him to his wormhole. If you succeed, then you do get the most difficult ship to unlock in the game, delivered right to your hangar bay. The standard NG ship and the Federation cruiser are the most basic unlocks in the game. 
To unlock the NG Cruiser, you need to get to Sector 5. That's really all you need to do. And to get the Federation Cruiser, you need to defeat the boss in Sector 8, either on easy or normal difficulty. Well, that wraps it up for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And tell your friends about my channel. Share this video with them. I always appreciate when you guys do that. Stay tuned for more videos, guys, and I'll see you next time.